This is Justin Miller with Train by Tex. Thanks for watching my videos. We are back on the Ford. We're, what we're doing today is we're capturing known goods. This time we're going in cylinder to capture the waveform for the pressure inside cylinder number one. We're going to sync that with cam or crank sensor and we're also going to capture the injector uh, control. So we're we've taken the plug out. It's a standard Ford plug. Nothing special here. It's three wire coil. And we've put in our pressure transducer. It's a WPS 500. Uh, Pico makes it. I bought this one from AES Wave. Um, excellent tool. You, if you don't have one, you definitely want to get one. It's the way of the future, guys. Uh, our yellow channel is on our control for that coil that we took out. We have our crank sensor on the blue one. And then we have our channel B, the, yellow, the green one, connected to our injector driver. And it, we're grounded onto the negative cable here. So what we want to do is just capture this so that we have it if uh, for when, whatever reason one comes in that's broken, it's got cam sensor codes or you know, we're not sure if the cam's in the right time, we can come back and look at the pressure waveform to figure that out. So now we're going to start the car and we'll capture the data. Well, you can see on the top line there, what we have is our crank sensor on the, on the blue. Our in cylinder is our red one. Our green is our injector control. And our cylinder sink is the yellow. Now what you want, what we're looking at here, you see how it went from, let's go back a page. See how it's two strikes there, one strike there. It changed on us right in the middle of that. There's a strategy involved here. I don't know what it is, fast idle or whatever. They're changing that. But what we've got here, this would be top dead center. And this would be top dead center again. And everything in the middle is the four strikes. Yeah, looks like my battery's going low. Um, four strokes of the cylinder or the, the cycle so you're gonna have from here to here is one cycle of the engine so we'll have one cam rotation and two of the crank but here's where we're firing it's a little just barely before top dead center which is where you'd expect it and our injector for cylinder number five is right there that is not the cylinder that we're in don't mean anything by that. All I'm doing is capturing it so that we have a known good for later on. We can analyze the pattern. That's the only reason I've captured it on this. I had a channel to use, so I went ahead and used it. Now up here we've got them running at 50 milliseconds per division. You can crank that up, crank up your sample rate, but then you end up with a really big file. So this is all I wanted to get today. And like I say, it's saving it for known goods for later, so if the car comes in broken with this engine, I can analyze it against what I have and what the broken car has and try to determine what is broken. Again, thanks for watching, guys.